Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here uh, and talk with you. Uh, Seth Martin, Assistant Professor of Medicine at Johns Hopkins uh, Hospital. And uh, I've been tasked with the pro uh, position for a really interesting debate asking the question, is precision medicine compatible with public health or vice versa, is public health compatible with precision medicine? And I've been given the very uh, easy side of this debate, the pro. Um, and uh, I just want to start by acknowledging that this is a real tension between precision medicine and, and public health. And I don't think that it even is so new, um, even though precision medicine is new and this is really an important initiative. The tension between the focus on the individual and clinical care and, the t uh, and that tension with public health has been there for a while. And I felt that tension when I went from a, being a cardiology fellow across the street uh, to a public health school. And it's something that, we, that I've personally grappled with and certainly we continue to grapple with. And I wanna make the argument that these two are very, very compatible and they need each other. And it's really just about having the right balance of, of the two. Similar to the way with AHA science and with um, healthcare in, in general, we need to have strong basic science as well as uh, translational and clinical science. We need to have a nice balance of uh, approaches that focus on large populations and the individual. So when we think about uh, one uh, reason that these absolutely are compatible, I think we can start by looking at what is the precision medicine initiative. One big aspect of that is to create this cohort, this more than a million person cohort across the country and that's going to generate an enormous wealth of data and it's going to include genetic data, biologic samples, information on uh, environmental exposures and uh, uh, behaviors as well as data from the electronic health record as much as uh, folks are willing to share and data sharing I think is a, um, a common interest of both precision medicine and public health but so is creating this enormous cohort. Of course in and of itself this is like uh, the public health uh, cohorts, the national cohort studies we've had on steroids. Here we have more than a million people that's gonna, uh, that are participating in this uh, cohort. But then it's also um, gonna provide the ability to look in a very focused way at individuals um, using all these uh, data. And when you have so many people, you can focus in on even rare conditions that are important to individual uh, patients. And I think um, teaming up on this initiative, it really serves both public health as well as uh, precision medicine. And I think that, that um, that's one reason that the two are perfectly uh, compatible. Secondly, I'd say on a conceptual level, um, public health is absolutely uh, imperative in terms of shifting risk factor burden uh, to the left so that that bell curve is, is shifted and we have less people in the high risk category because we're making broad population level changes, but people are gonna slip through the cracks. That doesn't in, in, um, address everybody. And that's been the, the case and we absolutely still need to have approaches that are focused on the individual. So I think at a conceptual level, these two can go very much hand in hand. It's just finding the ways to complement each other and making sure that resources aren't tipped too far in one direction that we continue to have that nice balance. Um, but in conclusion, absolutely fully compatible, absolutely precision medicine and public health, they need each other, they can complement each other. I think there could even be synergy between the, the two. It's a, even could even be a bi-directional uh, relationship. So I uh, feel that I have the very easy position of arguing pro uh, for the question of whether precision medicine and public health are compatible.